freaking choo. Wayne Simmons, the Wayne train, has signed with the Toronto Maple Leafs for one year, $1.5 million. And if I seem very excited about that, that's because I am. Wayne Simmons grew up in my neighborhood in Scarborough, and basically the entire neighborhood for the past decade has been campaigning to get him to come home. He finally has. You kind of got the impression this might happen for a little while. Because it was months and months ago now, but remember when the Buffalo Sabres acquired Wayne Simmons at the trade deadline? From a Buffalo Sabres standpoint, specifically a Jason Botterill standpoint, he's basically just trying to save face, save his job, show fans, hey look, we're at least trying. But if you remember, what was important for Wayne Simmons at the time was he wanted to be closer to home. He wanted to be closer to his dogs, and Buffalo was just a hop, skip, and a jump from Toronto. Now we all know why Wayne Simmons is such a popular name. Between the 2013-14 season and the 2017-18 season, he was a tank. A train, if you will. Consecutive seasons of 29, 28, 32, 31, and 24 goals. 60, 50, 60, 50, 46 points. But in 2018-19, injuries derailed the train a bit. Only 62 games played, still 16 goals, but only 27 points. Ends up signing with the New Jersey Devils, and they weren't very good, and then he gets traded to the Buffalo Sabres, and they weren't very good either. Just 8 goals, 16 assists for 24 points in 61 games with the Devils, and then he played 7 games with the Sabres and 1 assist. Now on the injury front, Wayne Simmons' last professional hockey game was in March. 2020. Since Wayne Simmons' last professional hockey game, it was cold, got really hot, and got cold again. The seasons have changed. It's going to be minimum 10 months between games, assuming the season starts in January. Is he going to return to form, scoring 25 plus goals, 50 plus points with the Toronto Maple Leafs? Probably not, but at $1.5 million on a one-year deal, that's not why you sign a guy like that. As Wayne Simmons said in his interview on Sportsnet just after signing, Anthony Stewart, by the way, breaking that signing, he said that he brings functional toughness. That means he can be big, he can be imposing, but he's also a good hockey player, and if he has to, he'll punch your head off. Those are your, those are his words, not mine. I, I loved it when I heard it. Now. I am a big believer in analytics. I believe they have a place in hockey. I believe they are an extraordinarily useful tool. And a lot of people have rightly pointed out that lately Wayne Simmons' micro stats, his analytics, have not been very good. And you won't hear me say this too often, but in this one particular scenario with Wayne Simmons signing with the Toronto Maple Leafs, let me say this loud and with my chest, SHUT UP YOU DORK! That is very, very, very not why the Leafs got him. He's gonna be a depth forward for them, a depth winger. He's gonna be on the third, maybe even the the fourth line. He might even fill in a role on the second power play unit as a net front presence. And if you breathe on a rookie like Rasmus Sandin or Nick Robertson, like he said, he can punch your head off. I remember him specifically. That guy tortured Dion Phaneuf for years with the Leafs. Now that was a very long time ago, but the fire still burns. Wayne Simmons, one year, 1.5 million with the Toronto Maple Leafs. We'll see what, uh, I almost said July 1st. What day is it? October 9th has in store for us. I legitimately forgot. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. Lots more to come here on the Sportsnet YouTube channel. Choo-choo.